Hey, this is Mike from Muscle for Life and Legion Athletics. And a question I get all the time is, what are the best types of protein for building muscle? And the short answer is the best types of protein for building muscle are those that are well digested, well absorbed, and that contain an abundance of essential amino acids and of leucine in particular. Now, this last point is very important because essential amino acids are the building blocks of muscle and the essential amino acid leucine directly stimulates muscle growth. This is why studies have shown that the leucine content of a meal directly affects how much protein synthesis results from. In other words, the muscle building potential or the muscle building power of a meal is largely determined by the amount of leucine in it. So keeping those criteria in mind, then your best sources of protein for building muscle are generally going to be animal products, stuff like lean meats, beef, chicken, pork, turkey, fish, dairy, eggs, and then plant proteins, which on the whole aren't quite as good as animal proteins for building muscle, but can work. And your best choices there are going to be soy, tempeh, rice, quinoa, almonds, and beans. Now you're probably not surprised that animal proteins came out on top here. However, I do want to reiterate the point that you can gain plenty of muscle and strength eating no meat or even no animal products whatsoever. You just have to make good protein choices. You see, many people think that most plant proteins are incomplete, meaning that they are lacking certain essential amino acids altogether and therefore are incapable of being used to build muscle tissue. And research has shown that this is not true. Plant proteins are complete, but some are not digested very well, some are not absorbed very well, and some are too low in essential amino acids and in leucine in particular to make them viable options for building muscle. For example, 275 calories of broccoli, which is about 18 cups to be specific, provides you with about one gram of leucine, whereas 275 calories of steak, which is, I mean, if it's just 50 grams of protein in steak, that's 200 calories right there. So add in some fat and you're probably in your average steak is going to be about 275 to 300 calories, excluding butter and other yummy stuff you might put on it. So 275 calories of steak gives you about two and a half grams of leucine. Studies have also shown that on the whole, plant proteins aren't absorbed quite as well as animal proteins. But again, if you're smart with your meal planning, you can do just fine without meats or animal products altogether. Now, as far as protein supplements go, which you don't need to build muscle, but which are also convenient and just help you hit your daily protein targets easier, your best options are whey, casein, egg, pea, and rice. And my personal favorite amongst those is whey and whey isolate in particular, because it's almost pure protein, very little carbs and fats. So you get to eat those, which is more enjoyable. Whey isolate is also digested and absorbed very well, and it's extremely abundant in essential amino acids and in leucine in particular. Now, in terms of specific products, I use my own. I created a 100% whey isolate protein supplement that is also naturally sweetened, naturally flavored, and it contains no artificial food dyes, no unnecessary fillers, no chemical junk, and it's sourced from small dairy farms in Ireland, which are known for their exceptionally high quality milk. If you want to learn more about it, simply click on the link in the description and check it out. And if you like what you see, you can also save 10% on your first order.